It was a clear bright day in 1942 when several German children saw the Fokka wolf fly over a cornfield in Bavaria. They saluted the German fighter plane, excited about reporting the sighting in class tomorrow. These children didn't go to any ordinary school. They were a part of the Deutsches Jungvolk or German youth, especially set up by the Nazi regime in 1930. All German boys aged 10 to 14 years were a part of the Jungvolk. Here, they learned to differentiate between friendly and enemy aircrafts. They also learned why a pure Aryan race was required to keep their country safe. Their textbooks were filled with anti-Semitic stereotypes. They were encouraged to be mentally and physically tough and play combat sports. Emotional weakness was frowned on and, as they swore their loyalty to Hitler, they dreamt of becoming a Nazi soldier to defend the Third Reich. These Jungvolk helped Hitler ensure that German children were schooled in the Nazi way of thinking from childhood. When the boys were between 14 to 18 years of age, they joined the Hitler Youth a paramilitary organization established since 1922. By 1930, it had enrolled 25,000 students. These boys were selected to become Aryan supermen who would fight as faithful soldiers of the Third Reich. They were trained in weapon usage, assault and basic tactics. The concept of war was glorified and the concept of democracy condemned. Aggression and violence were promoted as tools for eliminating anti-Nazi and anti-Aryan German citizens. After the age of 18, the German youth that did not score well joined the labor service where they were asked to serve in the armed forces or the Nazi government. While top scorers channeled their energy towards war practice in the Nazi army. Nazi girls were schooled in the Nazi League of German Girls to become good mothers and nurture the Aryan supermen. Hitler believed in the age-old gender divide Men were warriors and women were homemakers. His policies encouraged women to drop out of university and the workforce. Girls were taught to get married at a young age, keep a good home and have as many pure Aryan children as possible. This would ensure a continuous supply of strong soldiers and workers required to expand the Nazi Germany. Newly married couples got government loans. For each child they had, they didn't need to pay back 25% of the loan. Four children meant the entire loan was free. August 12th was Hitler's mother's birthday and each year on this day, he awarded the motherhood cross to women who had given birth to the largest number of children. The gold cross went to women who had produced eight children. Silver was for six children and bronze was for four children. However, there were those that did not comply or fit into Hitler's plan. Children who were weak, challenged or disinterested were expelled. Women who maintained contact with Jews Poles or Russians were put in trucks and paraded through the town with shaved heads to shame them. Opposition was not an option in the police state of Nazi Germany. Every German that survived between 1933 and 1945 in Nazi Germany did so because they were influenced 
by Hitler's Nazi ideology. As Hitler believed it was every German's duty to assure the future of the German race, he made sure Nazi propaganda reached every German.